Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the memory based question. Today I will explain you the part 1 of the real analysis question. Myself Dr. Harish Kirk and this is the fifth part of the CSR net December 2025. The previous parts relate to the linear programming problems, linear algebra, integral equation, calculus of variation all are available under the playlist CSR UGC net. You can follow and subscribe my youtube channel for more updated videos now in this lecture we will cover the two questions that was asked in the part b make sure students these are only the memory based questions whatever the options whatever the statement i have received from the students i have put in front of you it may be possible that the options are not exactly the bijective bijective subjective and so on but whatever i have received i have put up these questions in front of you now the first question is related to the check whether there is any bijective map from n to s and so on second question is related to the vector space how you can solve these two questions within the one minute time periods that's a very very simple questions but before you can before i start the solution of these two questions you must subscribe my youtube channel and like this video how you can solve these two question in a couple of second so before that if you already watch my lecture related to the countability and the vector space i already explain you the shortcut tricks so that you can get your answer within the 1 minute time period how you can solve let's see for the solution agar aapne abhi tak mere sath join nahi kara hai you can join it freely to my whatsapp group this is a fifth whatsapp group i have created you can scan and join this whatsapp group उंटेबिलिटी fine you always look about the cardinality so i can quickly recall that if f is bijective that implies cardinality of a and cardinality of b are same f is said to be the onto then it implies cardinality of a is greater than equal to cardinality of b f is 1 1 that implies cardinality of a is less than equal to cardinality of b but make sure converse need not be true converse need not be true fine clear for more details you can watch about my first lecture that is a pyq on the countability i am very sure that your reaction will change from of to wow once you can watch my this lecture py question of the countability to bas yahi concept se is question ko solve kar denge clear now you can see Let me clear the screen. अब आप अपना टाइम नोट कर लीजिए एक मिनट के अंदर आपको सोल्व करना है वन मिनट इज मोर देन इनफ यू कैन सोल्व विद इन द फिफ्टीन सेकेंड टाइम पीरियड क्लियर नाउ यू कैन सी वट इज माई एस एस इज जीरो पॉइंट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री एंड सोन वेयर ए आईज इज इधर जीरो टू एंड फोर क्लियर नाउ हाउ मेनी चॉइसिस फॉर द ईच ए आईज How many choices are there? Three raised to power n. Fine, because these are the three elements and there are the n elements. Now, what is the s? Clearly, say s is my zero point zero point a one a two a three. S is my uncountable. Is it okay? So once the s is uncountable, what is the cardinality of the s? Is a c? Is it okay? Now that's over. Look at the first option. There is a bijective map from n to s. What is the cardinality of n? Cardinality of the n is elf node. Cardinality of the s is c. Are they equal? Because for the bijective map, we need the cardinality must be equal. But clearly, say they are not equal. So the first option is cancel. Moreover, moreover, you can say that s is my uncountable. Oh, sorry, s is my countable. Uh, n is my countable. n is my countable s is my uncountable that means there is no bijective map between a and b 
look at the second option there is a onto map from n to s what is the cardinality of the n is elf node cardinality of the s is c so can you say if it is onto that means cardinality of a must be greater than cardinality of b but elf node is always less than of the c that means there is no subjective map look at the c options there is a bijective map from 0 comma 1 to s how you can solve that you can see the cardinality of s is my c cardinality of 0 comma 1 is also c both are same yes there is a bijective map from 0 comma 1 to s and look at the last options whether there is a bijective map from n to 0 comma 1 minus s so what is the cardinality of the code domain that's a c cardinality of the n is elf node both are not equal that means there is no bijective map between the n to 0 comma 1 to s so right option is only c is the right answer fine mai phir keh raha hu it is only the memory based question agar yahan pe kahin pe 1 1 puch le jata fine to aap kya karte aapko kya prove karna tha cardinality you can check whether the cardinality of or whether it is less than accordingly you can check whether they are correct or wrong उम्मीद करता हूं आपको 15 से जहां पर एक मिनट से ज्यादा समय नहीं लगा होगा अगर आप पहले से कंटिन्यूटी कंटेबिलिटी का लेक्चर सुन के गए होंगे कमेंट करके बताइए कि आपका ये क्वेश्चन सही है कि गलत है ओके लुक एट द सेकंड वन इफ वी इज अ फाइनाइट डायमेंशन वेक्टर स्पेस ऑफ दी आर ए कोमा बी इज माई ट्रेस ए स्टार बी एंड लेट डब्ल्यू के वेयर बी इज द रैंक ऑफ मैट्रिक्स के अगेन यू कैन गेट अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ दी वन मिनट कैसे अगर आप ये वेक्टर स्पेस का लेक्चर सुन के गए होंगे बिकॉज मैंने हर लेक्चर शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स के साथ इजीएस वे में आपके लिए बनाया है ओके एंड योर रिएक्शन विल डेफिनेटली चेंज फ्रॉम उफ टू वा कैसे आप इसको पंद्रह सेकेंड में सॉल्व करेंगे जहां एक मिनट के अंदर जस्ट नोट डाउन द टाइम पीरियड वी इज अ फाइनाइट डायमेंशन वेक्टर स्पेस विच थिंग्स कम इन योर माइंड वेन यू लुक अबाउट द ट्रेस दैट इज अ मैट्रिक्स Fine. So what I can choose is V is a finite dimension vector space. I can choose V is m of n over the vector space R. Clear? Then what is your inner product? That will be trace of because this is the real. So the star becomes transpose. Is it okay? Yeah, that's clear. Now look at the W zero. What is the meaning of the W zero? Is collection of all those a in the v such that inner product is zero where b is a matrix of rank 0 what does the meaning of that if b is the matrix of rank 0 what does it means that means b must be zero agar b aapka zero hai then this definition becomes fine so what is the value of the a a is nothing but my complete v so that means W zero is my nothing but V, but he said zero. A option is cancelled. Fine. Now look at the second one. W one. Once it's a W one, that means B is a matrix whose rank is one. If rank is one, that means the matrix B is my non-zero. But according to the definition of the inner product, trace of A transpose B, it is a zero. that implies a must be zero because b is my non zero by the definition of the inner product a must be zero if a zero then w1 must be zero so that means the b option is the correct one look at the third options w2 that is a matrix of rank 2 again you can see if the matrix whose rank is my 2 that is b is my non zero if b is my non zero that means a must be zero therefore w2 is also my zero similarly w3 if the rank is my 3 b is my non zero therefore w3 is also my zero so third is the so which of the following statement is correct b c and d are the right answer so if this is the part c question then all are the right answer and if somebody will say it's not the part c then if if they are ask you which one is a false then a is the right answer of the 
सॉरी तो बताइए क्या आपका ये क्वेश्चन सही है एग्जामिनेशन में और क्या आपको एक मिनट से ज्यादा समय तो नहीं लगा बाय यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट दैट आई हैड एक्सप्लेन इन दिस लेक्चर एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट योर रिएक्शन विल चेंज फ्रॉम ओफ टू वाव वंस यू हैव वॉच माई दिस लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर मोर डिटेल यू कैन वॉच माई दिस प्ले लिस्ट एंड यू कैन सी द वेरियस लेक्चर्स अवेलेबल ऑल आर माई शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स एंड दैट्स आर ऑलवेज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट टू everyone i hope you have really enjoyed that you can scan and join my whatsapp group if you are really interested i hope you can share this video i will come up with the next solution very soon till then you can like and comment on the video share this video with your friends happy learning always thanks for the watching